What is up everyone, my name is Exceptional and today we're making a Pokemon Unite ranked tier list. I have been playing ranked non-stop, I'm almost at ultra, we're doing really really well. So I decided let's make a tier list. Disclaimer, I know it's super early so this might change in the future, but let me tell you this, there's certain Pokemon that are way 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 stronger than the rest. I will try to explain why I think some Pokemon are in which tier, so let's just hop straight into it. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and stuff for more Pokemon Unite. Okay, cool. Um, so what I have noticed is that Gengar is definitely an S tier. His Hex Sludge combo makes him just a walking nuke. So especially in the higher tiers, he is probably the best, the best jungler or speedster, whatever you want to call it. He is a, um, he can snowball real fast and just destroy the game for you. And he's not fun and he's very hard to counter. There's just very little things you can do to counter him. So uh, yeah, he's definitely an S tier for, for now. I think um, he's a little bit OP, especially in the high tier. You can you can just go in and kill everybody. You cannot escape him and his damage is insane. Walking Nuke. Venusaur, a ranged attacker. His solar beam is very strong. So that is a good thing. His ult is kind of mad in my opinion. He is kind of tanked. The lower his HP gets, uh, the more damage he does. He is kind of strong, but I just think there's, uh, there's stronger options. So I'm gonna see, say B. Mr. Mime, I swear to you, Mr. Mime, the higher you get him ranked, the fewer times you really see him. Um, he's not that great, I think. Maybe in the future, some people will find some some things out with Mr. Mime and he can really slap. Uh, but for now, I think he's a, he's a C tier. Not that important, not that uh, impactful as well. Snorlax, the dominant top tier, top laner. He's very, very annoying to fight against. He is very dominant. Uh, you can I've, I've seen in uh, ranked games that people just only use one Snorlax top and everybody goes bottom. And Snorlax can hold his own for very, very long. Uh, yeah, he's annoying. He's a very, very, very strong tank. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in A tier. He's definitely not overpowered, but he's very strong. I think he might be the strongest tank right now. Absol, I'm really struggling with Absol. Like on the lower ranks, you barely see Absol, but in the high higher tiers, you see him go toe to -toe, toe to toe with Gengar. But can you put two speeds versus two junglers in uh, in the S tier? I don't know. He's up there. He's definitely up there. I'm really struggling if he's A or S. He does immense amounts of damage. His ult is. Just a delete button. Um, let's put Absol in A for now. Maybe maybe I changed my mind. Garchomp, that's actually my first main. It, a bottom laner, very good melee 1v1 attacker. But the higher I got him ranked, the more I struggled with him. I think he... Um, if you snowball on your higher level, you will do very, very good. But against some other bottom laners, you, you struggle, especially early game. It's 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 a real struggle. So I would probably put him somewhere in B, maybe A. Um, Lucario. Uh, yeah, this is a hard one. Just with the Absol, the higher you get in ranked, the more you see it. He's a uh, very versatile character. Does a lot of damage. He can brawl. He can uh, he can dash. So he's hard hard to catch and actually very hard to kill as well. Great combination. Great damage output. Um, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm I put I will put this in A tier. Definitely in A tier. Crustal. You barely see Crustal at all. I think it's just a little bit too early to tell. But what I've what what I have noticed is that he is so annoying to fight against. So I might even go with, put him as A as well. This might change. Greninja is one of the Pokemons I use a lot. Uh, very fun. You can snowball really hard. You good range, good damage output. The early game is such a struggle though. Um, it's always very fun. You can you can impact the game very well, but I don't think he is the strongest top laner. I think there's better options, so I'm gonna put him B for now. Talonflame. If you compare him to Gengar or Absol, he is absolutely, absolutely inferior to both of them. He is. He's actually very easy, but it's, it's kind of easy to, to dodge as well. Like Gengar's Teleport, it's undodgeable. And his Flame Strike, or whatever you call it, Brave Bird, very easy to dodge, or easier. So I'm going to put him in C. Charizard. Charizard is a weird, weird one as well. I've seen noobs on Charizard do absolutely nothing. I've seen Charizard 1v3 people. Um, but overall, I don't think Charizard is the best right now. I just think he is, uh, he's very, very decent. I'll put him a B tier. Um, yeah, he's probably B tier. Zera Ora, do we need to say anything else in this? This is definitely an S tier Pokemon. He is way too strong. I've seen him wipe teams in their own goal. 
It is not even funny. I hate him so much. He needs to get nerfed. Cinder Ace. I'm struggling with the fact that Cinder Ace and Pikachu are very similar in the in the, in the sense that they are kind of they're, they're kind of fast and they have range and they do a lot of damage. I don't know which one is better. Pikachu is way easier. Cinder Ace isn't hard at all, but I mean Pikachu is kind of point and click and just go. But um, yeah, I would say that Cinder Ace is probably a A tier Pokemon right now. There's a lot of damage, great range. Um, actually, maybe B tier. I've seen. I think Pikachu is better than Cinder Ace at the moment. He has just incredible range, damage, and stuns. If you get stunned by Pikachu, you will die. So, yeah, I think Pikachu is better. I don't think Pikachu is S tier. He is A tier, that's for sure. Elder Ghost, um, do we need to say anything else? The only support in the game, uh, a good Elder Ghost definitely will make sure that the team will win. He heals, he can speed boost you, he is incredible. Um, she is incredible. I think it's a she, or I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's definitely S tier, and in high rank games, you see um, see it being played a lot. So uh, yeah, definitely think he is S tier. She it. Let's Cramorant, 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 Cramorant. I uh, this may be a hot take, but I think he's a B tier. Early game, he's super strong. His whirlwind, whirlwind attack is very good and he does a lot of AoE damage. And his ult, ult is actually very good if you use it properly as well. But is he? he's not OP, he's not that hard to fight. If you can close the gap, he's pretty much useless. And um, yeah, I think he's B. I think he's B. He's like in the same level as, as Cinderace, I, I would say. Machamp is definitely A tier. He is very strong, especially later on. He is fast. He can throw you around. His ult will definitely just slap three people out of the game. He is a handful. If you play against a good Machamp player, um, yeah, don't let him get you, throw you and, and, and punch you around the map because you will die. Nine Tails. Nine Tails is a hard one, man. I play Nine Tails sometimes, and I sometimes do very well, but other times I really struggle. His freezes and his push ability and his blizzard uh, are very decent. I would say he's around B tier. Yeah, these, these people, these Pokemon, all feel very, very B tier. Like, very good, can win games, can carry, but better options. Uh, Wigglytuff. I'm struggling with Wigglytuff. B or A. I'm gonna keep him at B. I will, we will talk about the list in a second. Maybe we make some adjustments. As Slowbro, I actually started the main Slowbro. And let me tell you, I've won like 80% of the games using Slowbro. He's unkillable. His telekinesis attack absolutely is so good in ranked. It's unbelievable. You see Pokemon use their ult? Telekinesis, snap him out of the ult. That is like... One of the best abilities in the game. People sleep on that very, very, very much. Very strong. Very slow, though. That's kind of slow, bro. So he's slow, though. Um, Surf, very good. Great ult. I think he's a game changer, especially in high rank games. I think I think slow, bro is S tier. I really do. I'm actually very happy with the list. I'm, I'm, I'm reviewing it right now, and I'm thinking about what could be different, or did I do a, a Pokemon very wrong? Again... It is very early on, so this might change, but so far, if I if I look at the high ranked games, this the, these are the Pokemon that do the best. And the others just struggle a lot. You might you might say that Cinder Ace is A tier as well. I would concede that as well, but Cinder Ace and Wigglytuff are kinda could be A it could be A as well. But yeah, I'm very happy with the list. Remember, this is for high ranked games. I've played like 20 hours already, 30 hours, 40, I don't even know anymore. These are the Pokemon that have the most impact in these games. So this is my list. Let me know in the comments if you think I absolutely butchered the list. Probably everybody's going to think that. But yeah, I, I'm very happy with it. Also, I stream every day on Twitch. Follow me. Look in the description. Exceptional Twitch streaming, gaming, Pokemon Unite. Going for Master Solo queue. Pretty hard, but we probably will get it. And uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.